Let's continue Yoshi's Crafted World. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Who's ready for some loud recorder music? <laughs> Doing very well. Yeah, good to hear. I'm doing all right. Just wrapped up work. Okay, we're looking for a windmill. <laughs> I joke, but like both of these stages are going to have the recorders music. Like it's, it's the truth. It's such a cute game. It is. I, I really want to play the uh, the one before this one because it was a Wii U title. So I don't think it'd be that hard to acquire. But it's. I mean, it's the same as this, except it's like wool arts and crafts. I guess it's it's more or less. Same concept as this, it's just all woolly. Oh boy, it begins. <laughs> Hello Messiah, how's it going? Are you ready for some loud recorder music? Wait, is that the windmill? No, it's, oh I see, it's a particular color. can't listen to this music without hearing my lyrics now. like this game it's just I think the soundtrack is its, it's, it's biggest letdown it just needed more variety and less tracks with the recorder I don't see the windmill yet Ugh, I'm so full yesterday we went to um a German pub, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the correct terminology is, but anyway. Had a lot to eat, and then... I got... Well, I didn't get... I, I guess I got stuck with the leftovers. Since people had to journey quite a distance home, and I don't live that far away. It's like, alright, I'll take them. And I've been eating the leftovers all day today. Just meat, <laughs> meat and carbs. If you're curious, I did put a picture of it in Discord. But yeah, it's like, just got this platter that had a bunch of different stuff on it. And oh man, it was so good. But like, afterwards it just leaves you feeling like you just want to take a nap. Stones, yeah, I mean, I guess. Food coma. They had this cheese Kransky. That was just chili cheese Kransky. It was off the charts. It was so damn good. So I've just been having the leftover meat with rice.
But it was nice, it was just... Pretty much killed the afternoon, so... I haven't seen this windmill. Okay, I've missed the windmill. All right. Look in the background. We are looking for that windmill. Did we eat the whole plate at once? Well, it was in it was in a group. It wasn't just me, but it was not all of it got eaten. It was enough to there was enough left over for me to have two meals from those leftovers. So But on the menu it said it fed two to three people. That, that's a lie, man. Like, I think four people could have easily eaten from that. I think the mistake... Uh, uh, like, we had some pretzels. I think the mistake was the pretzels. Even though those pretzels were damn good. After a second look, you know, it's more tiny flights. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna eat something of that magnitude on my own. Let alone, like, between two people. It's... there's a lot of people. The pretzels were really, were really, really damn good, though. And yeah, a lot of the stuff they had there was just imported directly from Germany, so it was great. Oh, there it is. It's us. This one. Very good stuff. But, yeah, the servings of everything is just massive. That glass that I got is, like, the smallest glass you can get. I didn't get the massive stein. I probably should have. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Alright. I'm doing scavenger hunts. A cheerful cupcake. Okay. Just, uh, yeah, be ready for loud music again. Tired, almost Friday, how was my day? Uh, it was alright, just busy with work, but... I've been eating leftovers from yesterday. I was just talking about it. Music is getting louder! <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of leftovers from yesterday's trip. God, this this recorder. I never want to hear a, a recorder again in my life. But I got there's a picture in Discord, but we went to like a German pub thing. And so we got this massive platter between a bunch of us. But there was just so much of it left over and I got to bring it home because I, I live close by and people didn't want to carry around a bunch of meat in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> or a container, I guess. I make it sound like I had meat in a bag. But there was enough left over for me to have two meals from it. So I just had it with, like, a side of rice and some of the meat. So damn good. Meat bag. I ate it all by myself, and that's how I'm rolling around. Yeah, like, I'm just like Wario in real life. I'm telling you. Oh yes, I ate the whole pig. I got to the bar and then I said, Okay, I want you to go out the back and I want you to slaughter a whole pig in my honor. Make the sausages, the pork knuckle. Ooh, and give me some of that sauerkraut with extra garlic. Oh yes! Okay. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I think if I ate all that, that would be my, my last meal, for sure. Like I, I don't think I would I could reasonably exist after eating that. I'd be like, all right, guys, just leave me here. That's it. Lay my body to rest here. <laughs> I'm done. On a related topic, um, Charles Martinet, I don't know if he retired, but let's, let's just use the word retired. So he's no longer going to be doing the voices of, m m all the voices he does for Nintendo, so Mario, Wario, Luigi, Waluigi. He's retired, and they're making him the Mario ambassador, so he gets to travel and, I guess, share about all things Mario. Which is nice for the guy, and it was kind of suspected that that was going to be the case because for the two two new games they revealed, I noticed it as well, particularly for the Warrior game, that Warrior's voice sounded a little different. So there was a little speculation, like if it was even Charles at all, and it turns out, yep, people were right. They noticed that both the new Mario game and um, the new Warrior game, it's not Charles Martinet anymore. So they got a new warrior voice actor. I didn't get to audition, sorry. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's just someone doing characters. I think, dude, I mean, the guy's voiced a lot of characters that form a large part of my childhood. I think he definitely will be missed, but I, I question whether or not he retired. Because the phrasing of it... Like, it was just a Twitter post they did. And it was just this image with um, text on it. And the phrasing of it was a bit weird to me. It just said that, um, you know, Charles is moving into a new role. And that he's not going to be doing voices. It wasn't phrased like, hey, Charles Martinet is retiring. And so he won't be doing voices for our games anymore. It wasn't phrased like that. It was phrased like, Charles is getting a new role. Almost like Nintendo were the ones that did it themselves. And we're like, okay, well, sorry, Charles. We're going in a new direction. As old as the guy is, I've always heard that he's been very energetic and can still do the voices. So I don't know. I don't think there's bad blood because the guy seems pretty positive about the whole thing. But I, I just have the feeling that it wasn't his choice. Completely. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Yeah, I missed out. It's okay. Just have to wait another 30 years, and then I'll then I'll get my chance. I don't see this cupcake that I'm supposed to be looking for. Let me look at it again. Okay, it's a smiley face. I, I would see it. Cool, I, I, I missed the cupcake again. Alright, where is it? Oh, shit. Poochie, help! Save! Save your master, Poochie! <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Ah, this recorder. 
The worst part is all three stages in this area use this song. So I'm not escaping it tonight. The next hour is going to be the steam song. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's massive. Alright, I just need an egg. <laughs> he keeps singing the song I made up in your head. Good. Mission accomplished. Please exit the stage. I made an earworm. Good. I need to continue the song. I don't think I have the creativity in me to do that right now. I'm still full of meat. I'll try. Hot air balloons. Fire should do the trick. Okay. Oh. The only thing on that plate that I wish there was more of was those, those cheese and chili sausages. Holy crap, that was so good. If we go again, I'm gonna be like, get, just please get those, so just get a plate of just that sausage. I mean, even the chicken schnitzel was like, You would think it wouldn't have that much flavor in it, but the coating was like a lemon coating and it was just really good. There were some vegetables on the plate. I, I had some of some of the vegetables. <laughs> so it wasn't a lot, but there were some. I mean, I guess sauerkraut is a vegetable. But yeah, it was to the point I got home and I fell asleep. And then I got up later and just decided to be productive and make a bunch of thumbnails and fix some old VODs that I forgot to fix. So I guess it ended well. I did busy stuff yesterday. Was it worse? One of them was Kransky and the other one was a worst. It was like a very thin sausage that was a type of worst. <laughs> Unfortunately today and next week you volunteer to train a new person. Starting at 7, so from 7 you'll be lurking. Oh, that's okay. Guess I'll just have to be extra fucking loud so then it plays through the headphones or something. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go home and I'll find the recorder that one of my brothers had, bring it and just start playing it. Fixing VOD slow is appreciated. Yeah. 
It was the last one I had to fix, but it was just a pain because I just needed to split and resync. I needed to one make the video split in two a couple of times, and then it was just the capture card being weird with the audio. It just desynced, so I had to resync it up. So. At least that's done now. I, I don't think I have any other VODs left. I think, uh, finally, like, what, a year? <laughs> Took a year. But I think uh, I have no more VODs left. It's kind of just like, whatever happens now on a daily basis, those are the things that I just have to publish. Everything else is up to date. Oh, crap. Costume broke. The only thing I've been doing is just going back and updating the thumbnails to be more like the new style, which... Uh, it's a painful process, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> oh, wait, how am I supposed to get that one? Oh, probably like this. That's actually the second one. It's a shame because this song is nice and relaxing. It's just, again, the ear piercing recorder. Some kind of music. Hey, don't you like this awesome kind of sound? Jeez, I tried. <laughs> oh no, I've I've most definitely missed uh I've missed them. Well, we have to backtrack now. I need more eyes on this. Look for hot air balloons. I think, honestly, if these songs were the same and just didn't have that recorder in... 80% of the songs and be okay with the soundtrack. How would I rate my spicy tolerance on a 1 to 7? What, like 7 being 7 being good? Like, I'm good with it? Okay, if I was to put- if Seven were to be like Sean Evans from, uh, Hot Ones, I wouldn't- I wouldn't be- I wouldn't be at- I don't think I'd be at that level. I'm not sure. I haven't tried anything to the level of what he does on that show. But I- I would say I could, like, be a six. Possibly a seven, but I think a six is like- I do well with it. I've been eating it since I was like four. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, the story of me and hot food, it's like... There was once when my parents were shopping, and my dad got some spicy chicken from somewhere. It was like some stall, and the chicken was very spicy, and then my parents were eating it. And I was like crying that I wanted some. And my mom was like, no, don't, no, 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 this is not for you. It's too hot. You can't eat it. No, 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 no. We'll get you something else. And she was kind of stressing out, looking to find an alternative for me. And then my dad was like, just, just give him a piece. He'll bite it. He'll hate it. And then he'll leave you alone. And then we that'll buy us time to get him something. So my dad gives me a piece of that chicken. And then I just ate that thing. Just no, no hesitation. Just kept eating it. And I was just like constantly... Just, you could tell that I was struggling a little. But I just kept eating the damn thing. Bone was clean. By the end of it. So I've been I've been eating spicy food for a very long time. Spicy food is great. They're fine till 300k Scoville, that's where you start crying and having hiccups. I don't- see, that's the thing, I don't know where to place myself in terms of measurements. But, you know, I've been to places where their whole gimmick is they have something that's really spicy, and there are people that just will start coughing and struggle and eyes water and all that, and they can't even finish the thing, and I've been fine in those circumstances. But see, there's, there's different kinds of heat, though, I guess. There's, like, there's bitter kinds of chilies, and then there's more the Indian style, which is stuff that just, it makes you sweat. So it, it depends what you're talking about. Curry, yeah. I don't know if I can go back anymore. I may have to restart the stage. Oh, that's fine. Alright. For me, it's not that curry's hot. It's just... I guess... I kind of prefer the milder curries. It's, it's, it's more of a flavor thing as opposed to me not liking the heat. So I'm more of a fan of, like, the Japanese or the Malaysian-style curries. Worst is Thai spicy. I think I do okay with Thai spicy. Though, I gotta say, alright, nothing against Thai food. I think it tastes good. I'll eat it. I do like eating it. But in the list of Asian food to get, so it's like, you know, we want to get Asian food. For some reason, I don't know, I just find Thai to be a little overrated. Sorry <laughs> to those that enjoy Thai. And I'll eat it, I like it, I'll eat it. But it, if we were to pick, it wouldn't be my first choice. That's just my personal preference. They are beyond enjoyment. Yeah, I think that's... That's just it, it's like, there are some levels of spice that I enjoy. And then there are other levels where I can eat them, and I'm capable of eating them, but I don't enjoy it. And I think food, to me, is just enjoying it. Making you happy, you know? And if you're doing something for the sake of showing off, I don't know. I'm good. I did get, I think, some of the hottest foods I've had. So there's like that this wing place. It's it's like a Chinese restaurant, but they do wings pretty much. And, uh, 
yeah, they're known for one particular kind of flavor they do that's a, a just a, extremely spicy. It's a challenge. A lightning bolt flips out of windmill. Okay. And then this other place, I'm not sure if it's still open, but they did this extremely spicy pepperoni pizza. And it was like... <sighs> The phrase in Italian was literally like, I don't know if it was like bruised ass or like burnt ass, or, but definitely like the word culo was in there, which <laughs> it means ass. So like the name of the pizza was either like, basically it was going to hurt your ass. I think that's like the rough translation. Have I done the one chip challenge? One chip challenge? What's the one chip challenge? Is that the one where it's like a normal bag of chips and there's just one spicy chip in there? Because I don't think we had any... Any brands that did that here. At least not to my knowledge. Spicy nuggies are the, are the win. Yeah, I do like those too. I mean, McDonald's right now has a wasabi mayo dipping sauce that they added. It's pretty damn good. And they also do spicy nuggets, like, on their own sometimes. They've come back multiple times this year, so they've been very popular. I mean, I've talked about my favorite potato chip. It's called Pocky One Chip Challenge. I have no idea what it is then. My favorite bag of potato chips is just these kettle cooked ch uh, chili chips. So it's just salt and then a bunch of chili salt and jalapeno salt. It's one chip. I can get it on Amazon for $9.99. Okay, probably won't be able to get it on Amazon, but I can look at what it is because Amazon Australia is not the same as Amazon America, pretty much. The best way I can describe Amazon Australia, it's like, you know when you go to a place and they have these off-brand electronics, you know? I'd say that's 80% of Amazon Australia. Just these off-brand electronics and cables. One chip challenge soon. I mean, if there's a way for me to acquire that easily and on the cheap, sure. Hang on, let me just... Let me see. Amazon.com.au Yeah. Chat, do you know, would you like, would you like to take a guess how much it costs? Try, try and take, I'll, I'll convert it to USD, just to make it fair. And this is just because I'm guessing it's coming from America. You can guess in, in US dollars if you want, or Australian dollars, it doesn't matter. If you have a point of reference of how much Australian dollars are worth, that's good. No, it, it's not, it's not nine American and it's not 30 Australian. You get two more guesses and then I'll say it. Thundercloud, I don't think I've ever seen that in this stage. 2340, no. 56 AUD, no. 50. It is $52.74 American or $82.08 Australian. And I'm guessing the reason it's that price is because it's coming from America. And so, you know, uh, 
like I could do that or I could I could buy maybe Mario RPG and then have myself a good dinner. I don't know. <laughs> what about at an, at an American store though? Uh, yeah, I mean, scratching the surface, I'll have to have a look. I think the issue is it's become influencer bait. And that's why I think they're taking advantage of that. It's just clearly it's it's influencer bait. So they know that they can charge that much because people that tend to take these things make videos on the internet and most of them would probably have a business out of making videos on the internet so they make it a tax deduction. I mean at least if uh, they're doing it properly, right? So I'm not to that level. I could afford it, but I don't... I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spend that much on one thing. I mean, if I'm going to do... If I'm going to spend a lot of money on one thing frivolously, I'd rather pick up, like, a video game that is considered rare these days. You know, and just... That'll make me happier. But I looked. I did. But see, I would imagine that one chip challenge is like because the Scoville level is just ridiculously high. And I'm not sure how well I would do with that. Like, I know Ghost Peppers fuck people up and I'm not sure I would subject myself to that. Because it's just... I like, look, to, sometimes to make a point we have to make these exaggerations jump to the extreme. So then, you know, it adds emphasis to the point of just, why are we doing this? So just keep that in mind when I say, like, if I'm going to do the one chip challenge, I may as well just cut the middleman out and just... Go get a car battery, right? And just attach it directly to my nipples. Like, if I'm going to torture myself for an entertainment purpose, like, let's just jump to the end. The extreme. Fuck it. How much is it to send a small package from States to Aussie Land? The biggest factor is, is weight. Pretty much the more it weighs, the more it becomes this thing where basically the cost of what you're sending is also the cost of shipping. I think, I think it's a case of, it's not that it's heavy, it's just, that's just the reality of shipping. Like, let's say, let's say the thing is worth $20, it's probably going to cost $20 to ship. And then on top of that, it's because this is a, 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 clearly a streamer influencer bait thing. They know they can charge a premium on top of that, because it's like, there's no other place you can get it in Australia. So it's just, you know, there's no competition. They can charge whatever they want. So they go, okay, yeah, let's just get a bunch of them from America and then we'll, to make money, we'll charge like an extra $40 on top of that and people will pay it in Australia if they want to do this challenge. There's a bunch of people that make videos in Australia, they'll pay that price. They don't have a choice, they, there's nowhere else they can buy this, so that's why they can charge what they try, charge. And I think that's pretty much the case. It's like... <sighs> right now, it's the same with Baja Blast. Because it's such a novelty. People are char char I'm not joking when I say this, but people are charging hundreds of dollars for like a six pack of that shit. <laughs> that, some places, when, you know, the American specialty outlets are out of it, all these places pop up and it's like, WE HAVE BAHA BLAST IN STOCK! Hundred dollars for six. It's the same as scalping. It really is. It's the same mentality as scalping. It's just supply is low or non-existent, and so they can charge whatever they want. That's crazy. That's capitalism. <laughs> That's what it is.
I don't see this this rain cloud, thunder cloud. But yeah, because Australia is pretty much at the opposite end of the earth for Europe and America, sending anything down here, like I'm telling you, it's it'll cost you what it costs you to buy the thing, and maybe then some. And on top of that, I looked into this. But, you know, the Australian Postal Service and its, uh, P.O. boxes. Because I think it's the only way you can get a P.O. box here. Yeah. The amount they charge a year for that shit and the size of a P.O. box you get is just so tiny. It is, it is ridiculous how much they charge a year. It would be the only th it would only make sense if like you know I was doing this on a full time basis and then it's like okay it doesn't matter how much it costs I'll make it a tax deduction whatever it's fine but for a hobby thing ugh, I forgot how much it was I'll look it up again but it is ridiculous It would have to be in this background. This is the only background that has a lot of clouds in it. Uh, I, I think I'm not paying enough attention. I'm just running around the stage. Help me look, chat. We are looking for that. This oh, it's on the flip. Oh my god, it's on the flip side. <laughs> I didn't read. It's on the flip side. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong side of the stage. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Oh, I feel so dumb. Um, just a sec. Let me paste this into search again. Yahoo! Uh, it contains the Reaper Carolina chip. That's fucking why. Hmm. Supposedly there's a there's a place here that's selling it for 30, which is a bit more reasonable, but you read the reviews and the warnings and it's like, hmm, it might not be for me. Again, I like my spicy stuff. Pretty much what I said before. The moment it becomes something that is just not enjoyable. Fuck that. <laughs> the, the top review is that my ass was on fire for two days. That's the top review for the product. Wow, look at how easy that was. So hold up, let me just see. Okay. So I looked up the PO box thing. So, 
to get a P.O. box the size of a standard sheet of paper. The cost per year, if I don't pick where I want it to be, is $302. But if I want to pick a location that's close to where I live, it's $477 a year. Just fucking ridiculous. For, so for a box that can fit a, a sheet of paper in there. Yoshi cookies. Donate the whole chip at once? No. <laughs> that, that, does, that doesn't help. As much as you would think. Like, when it comes to spicy food, at least I've found it's, it's better to just get it over and done with, because prolonging it makes it worse. The second bite is usually worse than the first, especially if it's one of those things that, like, takes a minute to... Not a minute, but like a few seconds to hit you. Yeah. There's there's a small period where there's like an, your brain is like ignorance is bliss, and then it realizes, oh no, everything is on fire right now. It's on the flip side. Yeah, that's how expensive it is, and I don't even live in the middle of nowhere. But I think that's the reasoning is just like people that live in the middle of nowhere. They don't charge that much for that. So it's ironically <laughs> for us to still live where I used to live. I probably would be able to do it because it wouldn't be as expensive. But I guess it's just like, nah, man, you live in the city. What the fuck are you getting a P.O. box for? Oh, you must be a business. Okay, well, we're going to charge you a lot for that. It's okay. You're a business. Just claim it as a tax deduction. Don't worry about it. $500 a year. It's nothing for a business. <laughs> Oh boy. Music is gonna let up! <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. This, this recorder. Problem is, yeah, I live in Australia. That's what it comes. Any, any, any sort of issue I have when it comes to streaming, it can be just summed up by I live in Australia. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. I realized this a long time ago. It's just like, hmm, you know, from a distance and the time zone point of view, it's really inconvenient. I do like that they're referencing the game was, I think it was just Yoshi's Cookie. It was literally called that. do see this or want and want to try it it's very hot yeah i mean this is the thing i think that it's not that i wouldn't be able to handle it i think i can it would definitely cause me pain but see that's the thing it's like i'll have spicy stuff if i know i'll enjoy it and it's just it's food that is less on the side of food it's more of a a spectacle i guess No. I could just rig- I could get someone to come into my house and just rig a bunch of my stuff on a, on the desk to just electrocute me. I won't know which object it is. But like, you know, if I'm gonna do something for the sake of entertainment, <laughs> I'm basically hurting myself. 
That's what I mean. Like, that sort of thing is... I'm just hurting myself for entertainment. And I, I don't know. Where does it end? Okay, he did, he did that challenge. Let's get him to do something else that injures him. Now, if this was a place that we'd go out to eat and say they had very, very spicy chicken wings and that was a challenge, then hell yeah, I'd do that. Because at the end of the day, it's still a restaurant and it's like, it might be tricky, sure, but like, it's edible. At least I would imagine so. But this product has been specifically designed as like, influencer bait. And... It's a case of, like, even if you do get the right, you're gonna suffer for a, a couple of days afterwards. I don't know how the guy from Hot Ones does it, honestly. This dude's been doing that for years. I've heard having too much hot food can be pretty bad for you in, in the long run. Especially as you get older. I missed one Yoshi cookie. Where is Yoshi cookie? See it, shout. I really like this costume. Oh, well, all the costumes that do this, that they have taken into account, like Yoshi crouching. This is the start of stage, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, shit. I can't go any further back. Uh... It's okay, I think it saves the fact that I found the other cookies. I'm just waiting for, like, some health... health warning. Or health scare to come from these challenges, you know? Because there was something that happened, um... growing up... with those... that candy... those candy warheads. I don't know if everyone had them, but the, the super sour candies that have, like, that powder. And it was made out of this thing called malic acid to get that sourness. And so there was this warheads challenge that they had. And a lot of kids were doing it. And then they found kids were getting sick. And it turns out that if you have too much malic acid, it um starts doing bad things to your insights. Like, to the point that they, they had to stop that campaign and just be like, Hey, don't eat too many of these. Yeah, warheads were good, but uh, don't eat too many of them. As uh, things will start to... Uh... Oh, I don't want to say dissolve, but I think it may have been dissolve. Was the words they used. I mean, read into it, but yeah. It was something they had to stop.
Or like, oh, what was the one? There was one in America. I can't remember it. But it was these sugar-free candies. And then people bought them in bulk. People bought them in bulk and then... I guess they were consuming them in bulk. And so a lot of people were getting... It was having a laxative effect. Eating these sugar-free candies. So it was just a bunch of people just crapping, basically. When they would eat these candies in bulk. And it's just... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the reason it's less sour. They, they uh, made them less concentrated. Or maybe use some other agent other than malic acid. But that is pretty much the reasoning. That maybe that's why they don't taste the same. Where is this last Yoshi cookie? takes is just something to catch on to the point where it's viral and a lot of people are doing it. And then you watch the health risk come out. It's gonna happen with that one chip challenge. And then they'll be like, see? Haha! <laughs> Bullet dodged. But to be fair, there's already there's already a bunch of warnings on, on the thing. On the product page, there's a lot of warnings. Where the hell is this last cookie? I don't see it. I guess if I want a lazy thumbnail, this is a good one. I need your help! <laughs> Where is this last cookie? It's just, I, I want to move on to a stage that doesn't have this theme anymore. Louder. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I got the ones with the exclamation I have. But you know what? Just so we're not like getting false positives here. Yeah, I don't see it either, but. <sighs> It's going to be somewhere sneaky. This may have been the answer, it's not. I'm looking more carefully in the background. Okay, so I do have that one. feeling I might be in the foreground. Don't think so. I see cookies, but I don't see a Yoshi cookie there. <laughs> I 
Oh uh, dear. I just think to the movie Jingle All The Way. That's a movie that was on every year during Christmas. I'm just seeing Arnie absolutely lose it. Who told you you could eat my cookies? <laughs> Put that cookie down! Now! <laughs> that movie's great. It's the classic, just every year it was on. I would always watch it. Jamie took my cookies! <laughs> this music is making me lose my mind. <laughs> oh dear. It has to be at the start. Because I feel like I've looked everywhere beyond that point. But see, that's a shy... Unless it's a bait, then... I kind of want to, I, I kind of want this. It's like fudge, it's great. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? So that one there is where you drop down. So unless it's back here. <sighs> this one is going to be like Eagle Eye. I've either missed it in an obvious spot or it is like that sneaky. I'd, I've never seen one at the start, very, very start of a stage. Yeah, I mean, the Christmas movies that were on every year, it was, uh... That one, Jingle All The Way, uh... I'll Be Home For Christmas. Sometimes Home Alone. Well, I mean, I don't see it in the background or the foreground. So I think we can rule this out safely. This, it's not at the start of the level, this is where we're starting from. So now we're looking carefully. I can't believe how tricky this is. But see, those are the cookies there, and usually there's a Yoshi one next to these ones, but there isn't. Interesting how these fudge are immune to to the transformation. I'm 
taking it one scene at a time. This has to, I think this has to be the hardest one so far. Wait a minute. No, okay. I thought maybe if I had some height, there might be one up there, but there isn't. Jumping up until I'm certain it's not down here. Nothing yet. I feel like I should just take pot shots. Is this so obvious? They're not. All the other ones are not hidden. So why is this. I am missing one. Why is this last one so ridiculously hidden? this up, but it's kind of approaching the point where I should probably just look it up. And this cookie's here. <laughs> Challenge the player. I suppose. This is the sort of thing that I bet, like, me as a as a seven-year-old could probably do pretty easily. Just hide and seek. Why are you failing at a baby game? What the fuck, dude? I have, I have looked. I have looked. What do you mean? I, I just went through this stage like very slowly, and I've been looking the whole time, paying very close attention. It, I still don't know where it is. I'm gonna run back to the other side one more time. If I can't find it, I'm looking it up. <laughs> I don't wanna be in this stage for an hour. Oh, that is a little evil. Wasn't that? Come on. <laughs> I'm not the only one doing this. I'm sure you're looking as well. It's just like it's a room full of adults. We can do this. Ages six and up, come on, <laughs> we can do this. Oh man, the music is killing me, it really is.
Jamie, please find my cookie. I need the cookies, Jamie, please. <laughs> what the fuck is this cookie? The music is getting louder, Jamie! Ah! Oh, I should go to bed. It's only 8pm. I feel like my day is over already. Stop him because I'm looking. Oh, something just occurred to me. Oh, these things don't hurt. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, I may have to go back in the other direction. But something that just occurred to me, and I'm going to double check. But these marshmallow things, they sink, right? So what if you have to sink them to the point where it reveals something in the background? I, I, ugh, I bet that's the answer. I'm just thinking, I uh, just, just thinking. Like if I was to be an asshole and hide <laughs> this in an annoying spot, where would I hide it? I might, I might have to give up. <laughs> I, I feel like this one's definitely defeated me, like. All the other ones are very clearly in view. So there's either a very extreme blind spot that I'm going to hate, or it's just really that that well hidden. Shit, I just thought of something. What if, what if it's just packaging? What if it's not literally a cookie and it's the packaging of the cookie and it has the face on the cookie, on the cookie box? Like it's that sneaky. Because at this point I'm kind of refusing to believe it's something that's easily acquired, you know? Like the others. Well done to whoever hid this cookie as a developer. Like, it's, it's stumped a bunch of adults. It's like, sometimes teachers send homework that confuse the parents. 
This is basically what it is. It's like, what the fuck are they asking for? I'm a little- I'm a little bit desperate here, chat. So, that's the start of the level. What the f- <laughs> Alright, one last look at the very- The first, I don't know, 20 seconds of the stage? I'm looking this up. What the hell? I can't believe how how tricky this one is. It's not one of these ones that split across multiple stages. Yes, yeah, so that's the first. All right, I'm looking this up. What's the name of the stage? Poochie Sweet Ron Cookies. Let's see. I've been here for basically half an hour. I have tried. Okay. Just a sec. Poochie Pop Souvenirs. Found out where it is. Alright, let me just read it again. Okay. Oh fuck. I often just think on how <laughs> how people can watch me hit my head against a brick wall for this long, honestly. I'm interpreting these directions correctly. It might be a little further. Need a minute now. <laughs> cool. I've been playing this for an hour and a half, and this is this is my progress. There's still more to do. This game has a lot of flowers. Squir Squirella. 
in a tree. She's sophisticated. But throw an egg at her! The stage? On the flip side. Alright, got it. <laughs> I do want to try and play some Tunic today, so... We got to play more of that f that uh, little fox Dark Souls game, but you know I don't I don't want to tire myself to it too much either. Looking for a squirrel. Watching very carefully. I mean, I think <laughs> after this game, I'm trying to think of other Nintendo games that I just don't have streams of. So, like, Tropical Freeze is one, and then I think Mario Odyssey is the other. Oh, and the game that I never did anything with, which I probably should. This is in in the same boat as this game. I never did anything with this game until now. But there was that release of, uh, Mario- the Mario Brothers U collection, or whatever it was. It's like, New Super Mario Brothers. And then it had three games, maybe two, on it. But that one, see, I got because of, I just... I wanted to play it, but... I think because of Mario Maker, I guess I was kind of burnt out on, like, that style of game. And then it just kind of got lost to time. Tropical Freeze is definitely one I want to play. That game is so good. And it's just... It's a very good Donkey Kong game that makes me want more of those games, but they just haven't done anything with the series since. Sorry, doggo, not interested. I'm looking for Squirrel. I mean, maybe in the lead up to um, the new Mario game, Wonder. That's what it's called, right? Mario Wonder? Might be good just for a comparison's sake. To see, wow, this is how much the art style has changed. Good. When is that coming out? October? I think Mario RPG is next month, if I'm not mistaken. And then Wonder is like October or November. It's definitely closer towards the end of the year. Okay, if the squirrel's gonna be anywhere, it's gonna be in this area. I'm watching carefully. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it would appear that I'm not very well equip equipped at uh, finding things in the background today. I blame the copious amounts of uh, meat and 
German stuff. I'm thinking it would be outdoors, but it's possible it's indoors, just hidden. You put me on TV. <laughs> I heard I sound very different on TV. Looking very carefully. The problem with this stage is a lot of it is just a point of no return, you can't go backwards. I'll tell you this much, <laughs> the soundtrack to this game is going to be memorable for me. Probably not for the right reasons. There's a little bit of a delay from the phone and the TV. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. It's like, desktop is pretty much instant, then mobile is after that, and then the TV experience is, is way behind in terms of uh, what's going on. It's not that much of a difference, but it's noticeable. Wait, it's not that? Oh, damn. Alright, but... It's probably going to be in a similar spot. I thought that- I really thought that was it. Ah, uh, is that- no, that's another color. Ooh, these- wait. But I would imagine it has to be in this area. There's a lot of squirrels here. Just have to find a pink one. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> wasn't as bad as that cookie. Ugh. Next, what's next? Apples. All right. Well, I've seen those around. I know what I'm looking for here. Gee, I wonder what song it's going to play for this stage. <laughs> it's just... Oh, man. Can 
my favorite one, I know. I wonder if Gilvasana has any, um... Has any music on their channel for this game. If you don't know Gilvasana, it's like the parody channel that just makes up music and kind of makes it look like it's, it's official, but it's not. It's great. A lot of meme music in it. Maybe for the BRBs, I'll see if they have one. In case you didn't have enough recorder in your life. It's alright, I got you. This seems straightforward so far. I'm trying to think of another soundtrack to a game that I enjoyed, but then it was it's just the, one of the songs just got on my nerves. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having a hard time trying to think of another instance where I was very happy with playing the game, but then the music. I mean, there are, there are games that admittedly aren't great, and, you know, their music isn't great either, and that's to be expected, because it's just the game isn't good. But in this case, I like the game, but then, I don't know, the soundtrack. It's not that it's bad, it's just not varied enough, and... Someone r must really like the recorder. I don't know. Or maybe one of the producers had children that were learning recorder in school. And they're like, oh no, my kid's really good at the recorder. Listen, listen to this. Yeah, let's put it in the game. It's great, isn't it? Oh, they can do that song as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave the kid a job. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm saying that to be funny. It's, def it's definitely... An adult, and you know, it's it's a musician at the end of the day, and they're putting their craft into making the best soundtrack they can. But it's just like I can't be the only one that thinks this instrument is jarring. You know, if you hear it too much of it, I think it's fine to hear in small doses. It's one of those things that in small doses. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm, it would appear that I missed trees again. Okay. So much for straightforward this time around. <laughs> just, there's a little pause before the recorder kicks in. <laughs> I, I know the recorder part is coming. Ugh, oh, man.
You know what it, rem it reminds me of is... There's a famous thing in, um... In old music performances. The Beatles, I forgot what... It wasn't the, it wasn't the Beatles. It was basically, it was a show that they were doing on a TV show. And Chuck Berry was up there with one of the Beatles. I can't remember which one. But the one that was married to Yoko Ono. See, I'm terrible with names. But you know who I'm talking about. And you know, these two music legends, they're playing and they're vibing together. And then Yoko Ono grabs the mic and starts screeching into it. And the face that Chuck Berry makes, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty much... The song is like, you know, they're playing music and then Yoko Ono gets on the recorder. Hey, listen to my recorder! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, dear. The mic is the MVP, honestly. Best upgrade I've made to the stream is just... I can yell for comedic effect and it's not going to destroy your eardrums. <laughs> but if you're curious about it, like, just go watch it. It's funny. I'll find out the, the person's name. Someone's, like, just screaming internally. Doesn't even know who was married to Yoko Ono. That's right, it was John Lennon. It was John Lennon and Chuck Berry. Somehow I, I just blanked out on John Lennon. But there you go. It was John Lennon performing with Chuck Berry. They were doing a song together on a TV show. They were vibing. And then Yoko Ono grabs the mic and just starts screeching into it. I'm not exaggerating, like... Um... Screeching. Like... <laughs> banshee. It's like a banshee yell. And, you know, they didn't know she was going to do this, so Chuck is on the stage and he's like, what the fuck, man? And then one of the sound guys cuts off her mic, so she's still making the noise into a microphone that isn't doing anything. But it's, it's pretty much this. It's like you have this nice song playing. And people are having a good time vibing. And then all of a sudden... This. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this coming from? Where is it? All right, I, I need to. I need to focus on these trees. Right, is that one? No. Oh dear. I I wish I could play it, but I'm pretty sure the music would get picked up and DMCA all that fun stuff. It's just you can't do stuff anymore. The name of the game is Spot the Spot the Magical Tree, so we can finish this stage. <laughs> Thought maybe one would be visible here. Anyway, Sign of another tree. How many do I have? I have one, again, one left. But I get the feeling it's going to be the same as the cookies. Just in a cave and I have to aim to the foreground. I did get this one. This was a sneaky one. So that one's gone. Oh, 
But see, after this point, it's just clouds. this because I, I just don't I don't think they're here this is this background it's in the sky there wouldn't be a tree and then this is the end of the stage here so unless oh, this is... <laughs> maybe I should take a break from these hunts and just go do some stages I just had to 100% this. I'm making myself go crazy a little. I mean, I can try as many times as I want. It's fine. It's just more the fact that... I, don't, I feel like at a certain point it's not the most entertaining thing to watch. Just wait till the paranoia sets in, or it's just like, I bet there's someone watching. Because not everyone interacts with me, and that's fine. I like, I like that people can enjoy this like a TV show and never have to say anything to me. But I, I'm, I'm willing to bet, like, statistically at some point I've played a game, and I got stuck somewhere, and there's someone watching that's probably just watching me on a TV, and never has chatted with me and never will chat with me but they know they know exactly where it is the thing that i'm looking for they know where it is and the entire time it's either a case of like internal screaming or just finding it hilarious that i've walked past this thing multiple times <laughs> It does kill you with Majora's Mask and sometimes, and you can't say anything. Well, that's fine. That's, in retrospect, it's past me. I guess I have to just mentally prepare that for these stages going forward, there's going to be one that's going to be in some annoying spot. It would appear. Almost done with it, you're at the last temple. I wish I could say something. But I, I genuinely don't have too much of a recollection of that game other than... The fa that lo that really long quest took a while to do. And the Zora area was funny. And then there was one temple where I just did not do it in time and had to do the whole thing again. Which sucked. You love the one with the little girl? Oh, where I had to defend the farm from the, uh, the UFO things. Yeah, now, now that you say that, yeah, I do remember that. 
That was a fuck up and a half. <laughs> uh dear. Well, shit, I've looked. I'm starting again just because this is one of these stages that has a part that once you go past a certain point, you can't go back there. Wait a minute, it's, that's it. It's there. No, aim in the background. It's there, I can see it. I will say that Majora's Mask is, I think, the last Zelda game that I played where everything, and you're going to laugh when I say this, went smoothly. Because pretty much after that point, Every single Zelda game I played up until up until Skyward Sword. Every single Zelda game up until Skyward Sword between Majora's Mask and Skyward Sword. It was either a case of either A, I didn't pick up the heart, or B, there was a heart piece that took a ridiculous amount of time to find. And I, I just went practically insane, like, every time. And every time it happened, it made me even more annoyed because I was like, okay, this time it's not going to happen again. I'm going to be on top of heart pieces and it would happen again. The, wor the worst one being the Minish Cap, that is by far the worst heart piece I've ever had to do in a Zelda game. By far. Okay, mushroom or something. Minish Cap was the Game Boy Advance one. It's the one where you, uh, your hat was like, uh, alive, I guess, and you would turn tiny. It was a very good game. I love that game. But fuck that, that heart piece. <laughs> it's just the worst. I'm not, I'm not gonna say which one it was, but trust me, you'll know if you see it. Okay, just making sure. Every, every time. Every time. At least in Skyward Sword, everything went fine. Even in Twilight Princess, where I was like, okay, I'm on top of this. Twilight Princess, that's my shit. It's one of my favorite Zelda games. It's to the point where, like, people say, how can you like it more than Ocarina of Time? And I have my reasons. I mean, I can objectively say Ocarina of Time is the better game, but to me, Twilight Princess ranks higher just from a nostalgia point of view. Okay, looks like that. Just reminding myself. The main reason being was the Wii was the very first console we got to buy. Well, I, I, first of all, first of all, I bought it. So I worked two jobs to be able to afford that damn thing. And then every other Zelda game up until that point, so, I mean, the NES, the Super Nintendo ones, the Game Boy ones, and Ocarina of Time even, I got to play those games, but I just, I didn't play them when they released. I played them, like, at a minimum three, four years after they were released. You know, the console was already gone at that point, and my friends were talking about whatever was new. So I never got to be in any conversations where people were playing the Zelda games for the first time. You know? Like, when people were talking about Ocarina of Time, I was playing A Link to the Past. And then when people were playing... Wind Waker, I was playing Ocarina of Time. So I couldn't really share the excitement with anyone other than my brother. Which is fine, right? So, Twilight Princess was me having a job, saving up so long to get the Wii, 
and then for the first time ever having a brand new console on launch date and also being able to talk to my friends about the game when they were playing it as well like it was just something that i'll always hold close to my heart man you know it's a different feeling when all that stuff just lines up and anytime we we're playing that game just there was always a crowd like in a house people just stop what they were doing and watch whoever was playing playing the game and i it's like ocarina it's a monumental game and it's higher ranked on everyone's list practically but i just don't have those kind of memories for ocarina i definitely have memories where you know the, that game was like oh shit this is this is fucking amazing but then that extra level that I got with, um, with Twilight Princess and the Wii, just, yeah. Can't say I've ever felt something like that since. None of your friends played games, so it was just you and your brother. Aww. Just at least you had someone to share it with. You really thought Twilight would come on the Switch, you really want to play it, you don't have a Wii. Yeah, I mean... It's one of those things that they're perfectly capable of doing, they're just probably not going to do it. At least that's my hunch. And it's just simply because when they re-release Wii U games, they want to charge the full price again. And so to do that, they add a bunch of extra features to justify that cost so then people don't complain. And because Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, specifically, they're already re-releases and they already added a bunch of stuff to them, it's like... I'm not sure what else they could do to the game to justify the fact that they will cost $60. But, mind you, the one piece of hope is, like, Metroid Prime Remastered, that game was $40. And that was a full-blown remaster, like... Probably one of the best remasters I've seen in a while. So, maybe it could still happen, just a surprise, but, yeah, I don't know. And, of course, because now the shops have shut down, copies of <sighs> Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker HD have gone up, so, yeah. I don't think I see the stump anywhere. I'm just glad I got those games when I did. I think Twilight has a really good story, and I just love the darker tone of it overall. It's a very good storytelling game. And I think it has the best, the best assistant in any Zelda game. They tried assistants so many times and the one assistant i feel like is the best is meet just because she actually has a character she's part of the story has like a bunch of things going on with her and she contributes more to the story than the other ones which are relegated to hey! Hey! Yay! 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 and uh pointing out the obvious as soon as it happens like you know I was very surprised with Fee, because I thought after Twilight they would have just made Fee more like Meedna. But uh, that's not what we got, so I don't know. So I didn't find the stump again, so let's just run through it again. <sighs> okay. Love the story for Skyward. Skyward was good.
I did enjoy it more than I thought I would. The problem I had with Skyward when it was first released was... <sighs> For those that lived through the, the era of Wii games, here's the thing. That console came out and much like a couple of years ago, it was basically impossible to find a PS5. It was pretty much impossible to find a Wii for a while. Like, they were just that popular. And it wasn't a shortage, they just sold a ridiculous amount of them. Um... So, most of the games, they had motion controls involved, because that was the Wii's big gimmick, and at, at the start it was cool and novel and, you know, it was fun. But as time went on, I guess I, I certainly got burnt out on, on motion controls. It's just like they were putting them in for the sake of putting them in. And things that didn't, like, really didn't require motion controls had motion controls. The best example is just something as simple as a menu. Instead of using, like, a, here I'm using the D-pad, right? On a Wii game, I'd be pointing the fucking remote and trying to, like, move it over the icons. That's the sort of, like, unnecessary thing that got old after a while. And so when Skyward Sword was announced, they said that, oh, this game is gonna have so many motion controls. I was like, uh, I'm kind of over motion controls. So I just never got it. And that's where I think, that's the thing with Skyward Sword. It's, it's a very good game. I think the dungeons in that game, there's probably some of the better ones in the series. And the story's pretty good. I mean, excluding the parts where, like, Fee kind of prolongs the story a bit. Um, the story's good. But ultimately, that game... I, I get it. Like, it was designed with motion controls in mind. It was. And to its credit, like, I did play motion controls this year when I did the hero mode thing. And it felt good, they were good. Like, I could see that I should have done it with motion controls the first time around when I played it. But still, uh, there was just a lot of times where I was just, man... If only this game was without the motion controls, like, designed, you know, more like Twilight Princess. I'd probably be able to rate it higher, you know? But that's, that's just me. I like them showing the creation of the Master Sword. Yeah! All of that was good. I mean, except for the part where Fee does figure skating for some reason <laughs> to explain stuff. That, that had me confused. A mushroom in a stump. I need to look a little bit better than what I am, I think. I get the feeling I've gone past it multiple times. It's just something that's like a subtle foreground element. This is the end of the stage again. No, okay. I mean, I might just go do a stage after this one. As much as I want to 100% an area before moving on, I think the scavenger hunt. <laughs> the scavenger hunt. Oh, there it is. I might not be perfectly in the mindset for it tonight.
the thing that I love about Skyward Sword the most, particularly when streaming it, was just... It always makes me laugh when just a room full, full of adults, the moment there's like some adorable animal on the screen and you can pet it, it's just... Just how it devolves <laughs> so quickly. It just needs to make a cute sound and you just need to be able to pet it and then that's it. Good stream. What is... It makes people happy, yeah. I mean, th those things and the, the fox in Ghost of Tsushima, I, I, I feel like those are the ones that got the most reaction in terms of cute animal that you can pet. Yahoo! I think the best part about it is, you know, you start, you start with one, you can pick it up, and then you find the second one, and then the second one starts following you around, like... Very, very well done. So, you know, when I played Skyward Sword for the first time, I wanted to find all of them, and it wasn't because I thought they were cute and I wanted a reaction, it's because... <sighs> Zelda 1 has ruined me as a person. It's, I say that I credit this game to my problem solving and... Just the whole thing about never giving up, right? So I thought if you were to get all these these cute animals together, that it would reward you and give you like a heart piece or something. So I, I admittedly spent longer than I should have trying to find all of them. But I guess, you know, people didn't mind because they were adorable. So this is interesting. It shows a shadow. Let me try it. Yeah. I haven't seen this before. So it has a crown. I guess we're looking for a crown shape. You know what the worst part is? is like, I walked back and forth in this stage so many times. And I would not be able to even... Have the vaguest of ideas where, where this thing could be. And you would think something like a crown would stick out, and you'd remember it. Oh, there it is. I already see it. Alright, good. <laughs> Painless. How many more? I've, I feel like I've done so many. Hey! We did it! Hundo percent. Okay. We can move on. Oh no, it's a clown area. I should probably swap Yoshi color since it's a new area. Alright, what color Yoshi should I be? One that I haven't picked before. Ooh, these enemies. I remember these. Uh, hold on. I'll go to the choose a Yoshi thing. I've done... Well, I haven't done light blue. So it's purple, light blue, red, yellow, and orange. These are the ones that I haven't done. So it's between those. But I mean blue. Purple? Alright. And then I gotta pick a costume for this one. The grape flavored Yoshi. Ok. 
come with you. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I just found that funny. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like the contrast of the green and purple. Pumpkin. I like the grass one, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I'm going with the grass. That I like the look of that. As simple as it is. As simple as it is. It's pretty nice. We'll get more costumes anyway. Well, at least we're going to get new music. Oh my god. It's new music. Still got... Music is getting louder. Music is getting louder! Oh my god, it's so fucking loud right now. Okay, there's, there's no recorder. I mean... There we go. Oh no, I'm wrong. <laughs> there's a recorder in this song too. <laughs> oh my god. We just can't escape this recorder. I mean, admittedly it's more subtle up here, but it's still there. Oh man. Why? You see what I mean? It's just... I feel like I'm hearing the same song over and over again. And that's the only complaint I have with this game. I have nothing but positive things to say about the rest of it. Like, sure, stages are a bit on the easy side, but it doesn't matter. The game makes me happy. Jeez. I'm just waiting for someone to stitch it together and form like a whole ass song. Interesting shape this is. Can't tell if this is the way forward or not. Oh, there we go. Okay. The nostalgia is hitting pretty high with this one because those enemies and the whole planet thing. It's a Yoshi's Island thing. That was like a limited time thing, it may have been. Oh, 
Am I imagining that, or is, is like the recorder in this song somehow more jarring? I just, I think I'm just getting burned out on hearing it again and again and again. Like, is, is it is it worse? Oh, just, it sounds louder, oh boy. Just this part here. I wonder if there's someone out there that just considers this their favorite video game soundtrack ever. I mean, there would have to be, like... We live in a pretty big world, there's always someone that enjoys something. Yeah, like, would, so would someone listen to the soundtrack of this game on repeat? How they have, how people do 30 minute versions of game soundtracks, like would someone do that for this? Again, it's not bad, it's just, it's something <laughs> that is worse than the sum of its parts, if that makes sense. Ah, oh, crap. The sad part is I lose all my eggs when I do that. I needed eggs. Like, if, if you were to listen, like, let's say you've never played this game before, and someone shows you a song from the soundtrack of this game, you wouldn't really think anything of it. It'd just be like, okay, yeah, that's not a right song. You wouldn't notice the recorder much. It's when you listen to, like, three or four songs from the soundtrack of this game, then it's like, Oh, dude, they, they like, they use a lot of recorder for this. <laughs> and it's that same melody. Yeah. And when you compare it to Yoshi's Island, it's just, man, the Yoshi's Island soundtrack is so good. It makes me happy to hear that soundtrack. This is a soundtrack that... Some of the songs definitely give me that feeling of happiness, but then... I think it's ultimately just like, <laughs> once that recorder kicks in, it just gets snapped out of reality. Snap back to reality. Oops, I got his gravity. Yeah, I don't know. However that song goes. Did they save money on music? I don't think they did, because... Someone would have still had to have made this. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe they just didn't get that many tracks uh, composed for it, I don't know. But someone still had to make the music as similar sounding as it is. At the end of the day, someone had to perform it. Thank you. 
<laughs> a coffin? That's interesting. Popcorn stand. I mean, probably like someone didn't have to write too much of a difference in the song, so maybe it did save money. I don't know. Chompa Gobbler. Circus tent. It's kind of nice. I don't think I'm going to swap from the grass one. The grass one I feel like just works so well with this. As simple as it might be, I, I just, I don't know. I think the colors, they look nice. Especially, the, look, the ins even the inside of it is purple. It's almost like it was made for this Yoshi. Yeah. Still, music is getting louder, but at least this sounds varied enough. So fucking loud right now. Also, I love the zombie shy guys. This is a cool theme. I finally feel like I'm listening to a different song. now. Give egg, please. There's an egg thing next door. I can see it. Okay, we're good. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Backtrack. I kind of miss the the whole giant egg thing. Wait, there's still one flower missing. Oh. Don't tell me it's somewhere at the start. I didn't see anything. Oh wait, no, hold on. Aha! Oh wait, it's not a flower. Okay. 
Well, this is certainly a different stage. That's one of these things I have. Ah, ha, 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 sneaky. I still missed. No, <laughs> I still missed a flower. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to redo the stage again. It's, it's better to just go back right now. Also, it's still at the start. I can do all that quickly. All right, so there's a flower before you go into the mansion. All right, cool. Sneaky. Nothing else, right? I like the stage so far. Those things being dazed. It's funny. <laughs> Alright, that's it, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm up to date. That's everything. Alright. Ooh, present in the background. Sneaky. That always has a red coin, so... Oh crap, it's a... Nice. I completed the shootout just with enough eggs. I was about to say, I've done the shootout once where I got it correct, but then I didn't have any eggs to get the flower, and I was sad. I wonder if that Shy Guys is hiding from the other Shy Guys, because... It knows, oh no, they've been zombified. Like, they're probably not even allies. I bet that shy guy would devour the other one. Oh shit. You can't stop it, I tried to stop it. I love, I love stealth stages. I'm gonna do so well here. Oh, you dick. Well... 
I'm gonna have to redo the stage. I mean, I'm not gonna start again. Let's just get as far as we can get, but like, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the stage a second time. That's annoying. I can't believe there's no way to stop this thing. My specialty, just stealth stages, I'm telling you. There's no one better. I should play I should play the Metal Gear series. <laughs> I want to have some laughs at me struggling at a sneaky- Oh my god. Like, yeah. Struggle at sneaking around? Yeah, that should be the series I should play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've always heard good things about that series, but I just never got into it. I, yeah, I missed one. I know where it is, so... Other than that, everything else is going fine. There's something on the ceiling that's gonna fall. Off the train, she'll be lurking and watching. All good. Have fun. Ooh. Okay, I mean, it was a red coin, it was important enough. <laughs> so much fun. Some people genuinely enjoy training. I like to, uh... What's the word? Like, be a beacon of knowledge and help train the next generation. Can I really do nothing about this thing? I refuse to believe that this thing is untouchable. How am I supposed to sneak past it? That's how. Nope. Okay. Did it without incident. Sad. I'm gonna have to go back for that one flower. Probably some red coins as well. Never mind, they're all in here. Please don't hit me. No! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to try and do this. <sighs> Just right before the end of the stage.
This certainly bodes well for Tunic later. Okay, uh... This is the thing that I find weird, is like if you... Lose your costume, you have to re-equip it, which, yeah, I don't, I don't get why. It's not like it gets destroyed. It's kind of an oversight, a little bit. I find it crazy, just <laughs> for me, and probably some other streamers, it's just... There's always a childhood fantasy of wanting to be on TV, you know? At some point you want that. Or on, I guess, the radio. And, you know, to some extent I've achieved that. It's like, I I've been on someone's TV at some point. <laughs> Admittedly not on a wide, or like, a wide scale, but... I was telling my younger self, hey, yeah. People are gonna watch you play games one day. I guess I don't need to collect this. I, like, I know what I'm after. That's the blue coin thing, so let's just get through it quickly. I don't have to bother with the rest of it. Two objectives. One, get to the end without losing uh, much of my hearts, and the other one would be uh, the blue coin thing, which is, I think it's just in this next room here. Okay, so now don't lose health. There we go, that worked. Okay. Why couldn't that have happened the first time? Nope, bye. I need to bait it. Not like that. That was stupid. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. I can take a hit. Everything's under control. <laughs> it's gonna make it to the end of the stage now. Where's the key? This room. Oh yeah, this shit. I just need to be waiting on this door. Come on. 
There we go. Okay, it's time stretch now. Can't believe I took damage at the last second. It happened again, but this time I had the costume. I haven't done the flip side yet of these stages. Uh, hoop, jump, hop. It looks like an actual circus now. Probably a creepy one. Oh, cool. Ooh. Right, I like this theme. This theme is nice. Okay, do I need to get coins? I might need to still get coins. Maybe. This is fun. It doesn't look like I need to get coins. I haven't seen a red coin yet, so... What the hell? How, did I do this? I, I did this really wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Somehow I got stuck on the low ground. All right, well now that I know there's no red coins, We'll probably go better. Unless the ob objective for those ones is to throw eggs. Oh no, good, good. <laughs> oh my god. That could be the objective. You might explain why I can't reach them. Get on the rope, Yoshi. Okay, so how do I... Oh, this. Like this. Okay, got it. That's how you do it. Oh, Mar trampolines in Mario games. Oh no, there's red coins. There's red coins. That's not cool. I already have enough to worry about. I'm gonna go for the score based one first and then worry about red coins. Say it is very annoying, but I have to collect red coins. Okay, deal with that. Let's see. Yahoo! 
That's not too bad. Oh, what? Okay, well. I wonder where I missed some. There might be like a combo thing. That's the only thing I can think of. It's a fun stage though. Just wish I didn't have to worry about red coins. Like, they're kind of conflicting goals. Of course, that's the spot where there's one. it gives you enough time to get to the next one. Yeah, okay. Every time it refreshes, it's like 30 seconds, and that's fine. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Like, I really have to look for these. Okay. This next one's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to reach in time. Please tell me the red coins are still counted. <laughs> Please. Nope. <sighs> Gotta get him again. All right. At least I know what I'm up against now. What? Did they just seriously respawn? barely make it. Oh my god, trampoline! <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what it is about trampolines in Mario games, but I feel like I just never get them right. Maybe this is just a childhood thing that just is coming back. There are two things that I just... No matter how much time has passed, they just... Always seem to cause me grief. Trampolines and Hammer Brothers. Just as long as I can remember, those two things have been the bane of my existence in these kind of games. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, look. Jump hike! Oh, God. Oh, ah. I can't get it to do a high jump reliably. Yoshi, please. I'm on the back foot right now. We gotta go. I doubt that's a red coin. I have to jump through all the hoops, that's the goal. Get more time. I don't know if I'm gonna make this next one. I missed a ring somewhere. 1600's a goal, I think. There's a coin and there's a ring somewhere that I missed. And I got it. Okay, it's fine. Alright, so I just need to find the coin now. No problem. And finish the stage, but it's besides the point. I don't have to jump through the rings as much anymore. Unless they reveal- ugh, unless they reveal coins. I'll we'll see. Yahoo! I wonder where I missed the coin. The only thing I can think of is it's a scenario like that where it just it spawns a second set of coins or something. Imagine it was that one coin that I chose not to collect. That'd be funny. seen it yet. Okay, I thought maybe in the background. I was like, hmm, what if I have to shoot something in the background? I'm probably not going to make the next one. Jeez. Anything. I've gotten the coins to the left. That's a certainty. Okay, so. I don't see it. Hey Zelda, thanks for the look. What? Where? Where is this one red coin? It's just one coin.
Would it be so cruel to put it in the background? Like, everything has been about acrobatics, but what I got the feeling it's gonna be hidden. It's just one coin. I feel like I collected all the coins. Working and watching? Fair enough. A lot of people do that. Hopefully I don't distract too much. I'm looking carefully at this background. Just in case it's a single coin. Nothing to do at work, I really. What I usually do when that happens. this coin I feel like I've looked everywhere for this coin I don't understand where this coin could be That's, that's it, I've, I've collected every single coin. Where have I missed it? <laughs> I might look this up so I don't go crazy. I've, I've looked into so many things today. Hip, jump. Hop. Red coin. I want to see if anyone gets stuck on 19 out of 20. I want to see if there's a single... Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I was right, it's a background thing. I just didn't notice it. I gotta remember. Every stage has a present that has one red coin, so it's that. There we go. Yahoo! Okay. Just have to look for the present in the background. I can just keep running until I find it. Where is the pr there it is. Got it. There it is. I gotta remember that. There's always a present.
Yeah, don't care about Scott, just give flower. Okay. I still earned that, surprisingly enough. Okay, now I can do B-sides. Or flip side, whatever you call it. This shouldn't take too long. Yahoo! Oh, this looks so different. It's good because there's no timer anymore. Let's just do the stage. that one was kind of just there in the open. I definitely got it. It would have been 1 minute 30. There's no way it's, like, under a minute. Yahoo! Oh, it's... yeah, easy. No stress here. Uh, alright. Now this one. This one might be a bit harder. Yahoo! It depends if that thing's gonna chase me or not. Guess not. Does it? I don't know if it wants me to go up. I guess we'll see. <laughs> the fact there hasn't been a dog. It's upstairs. We'll see if it's the first one or the second one. It's the second one. Alright, restart. <laughs> so we did have to go upstairs in the first area. That's fine. I just didn't hear the barking, so I got a little bit confused as to whether or not I had to. Please. 
I mean, otherwise, what else would... Yeah, let's see how... Are they all just gonna be... I hear it, where is it? Oh my god. That is sneaky. <laughs> this is going well. Oh, it does. That's nice. Hey! There we go. Wait, hey! Wait, 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 wait. What? A I, ah, what happened? <laughs> Why didn't I get the middle one? I found the middle one. Oh, I didn't collect it. Ah. Oh. What did I do? This also works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We'll be fine. I just, I didn't collect that. <laughs> well done. I opened the chest, but I didn't hit the dog, I guess. Alright, there we go. I hope it's two minutes thirty. Please be two minutes thirty. For all oh, easy. Okay. It's weird, some of them are lenient and then others they're not so lenient. I think I need to reapply my costume. <sighs> Alright, yep. Don't get why it does this, but sure. Back to the recorder music, in case anyone missed it. Music. <laughs> 
music is getting louder. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud right now. <laughs> what are you doing, Poochie? I don't have an egg. Okay, well, this is clearly a restart. <laughs> Good stuff. I need eggs. I mean, I guess two should be enough. Now that I have one, should be fine. Don't need eggs. Up or down? Down. Hmm. Haven't run into one. I'd imagine it'd be up here, surely. Yeah. I'm just gonna trust that I can just go in that way. Probably shouldn't risk it with this. Even though I'm positive I could probably make it across. Better safe than sorry. Wait, there's one dog missing. I heard the barking. It's there. Uh, Oh shit. I need to get on this moon quickly. Okay. Well, that was a brain up. Hopefully, the time I bought myself by doing this should suffice. We'll see. I don't know why I thought I had three dogs. Lenient. Okay. Well, that's all the stage is done, so I'm gonna leave Yoshi's Crafted World here for tonight. We're gonna continue with the next scavenger hunt next time. I think if I start a scavenger hunt now, it'll probably not be good, <laughs> given how some of the earlier ones took a while. Plus, I've been playing for three hours, so we're going to do a small intermission before I move on to the next thing. But first, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of this one. And remember to do all that fun algorithm stuff, like clicking buttons, if you want to support the channel over here. And... Also, on the topic of clicking buttons, I'm sure two other videos have popped up on your screen, so maybe you want to watch me play something else. Don't know what YouTube picked for you, but hope you enjoy. Alright, till next time, bye! <laughs>